Hi, I'm Agent Weiss, and today I'll show you how to set up a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Here's what you'll need. The included power cable and charging brick. Make sure the phone is plugged in and fully charged. The name and password to your wireless network. And the login credentials for your Google account, if you have one. All right, let's get started. If you've set up a new Android phone before, the process will be similar but the fun and magic of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G happens after the setup. Before you get started, make sure it's 100% charged and then disconnect it from the charger. Keep your phone fully open for the rest of the setup process. Once we've finished, you'll be able to fold it to another position. Press and hold the power button on the right-hand side until the phone vibrates and the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G logo appears. On the Let's Go screen, Tap the arrow. The next screen will ask you to accept the terms and conditions, privacy policy, and permission to send diagnostic data. If you agree, check the boxes to accept each one. Sending diagnostic data is optional and can be left unchecked if preferred. Then tap Next. Choose your network and login. When you're successfully connected, tap Next. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G will check for updates and, if there are any, install them. This might take a few minutes. When the update process is complete, it's time to talk about data. More specifically, transferring data. Tap on Next. If you're transferring data directly from an Android, iPhone, or iPad, you'll need the Samsung Smart Switch app. Click Next to begin downloading it. After it's downloaded, You'll walk through a few steps, answering questions about your old device and reviewing the terms of service and permissions. If you're transferring from another Android device, you can do it using a cable or the wired option, or you can do it wirelessly. If you choose to go with a cable, you will need to plug one end of a compatible USB cable into the old phone and the other end into the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. A USB-A to USB-C adapter may be needed to plug the cable into the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, depending on your old device. If you're transferring data wirelessly, you'll need the Samsung Smart Switch app on the old device, which can be found in the Google Play Store. If you're not able to use an old device, press Can't Use Old Phone. If your data is backed up to Google Drive, sign into your Google account so you can adjust transfer settings and manage the data to transfer. If you don't have a Google account, we highly recommend that you create one. It's super easy. Tap Create Account to set up a new one. When creating your account, make sure that it's secure and that you create a strong password. We have an existing Tech Tips video on creating strong passwords that may be helpful. You can check it out in the notes below. If you'd rather not sign in or create a new account, tap Skip. I'm going to log into my Google account. On the Google Assistant screen, tap Next. On the Google Services screen, you can add the account to the phone and enable a few different settings. Now you will be asked to confirm a few more settings. First, you can elect to back up your data to Google Drive. This is really helpful if something were to happen to your phone or if you get a new one. Then, press Accept. Now it's time to set up your Protect Your Phone screen options. This is where you can set up different unlock options to prevent others from using the phone without your permission. You can set up face recognition, fingerprint scan, drawable pattern, PIN, or custom password. Take a few minutes to explore each and pick the one that works best for you. I'm going with face recognition, but I'll still have to set up a PIN, pattern, or password with this option. Now it's time to review some optional apps to install. Simply uncheck any you don't think you'll use. This will save storage as well as boost the speed of your Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Now your phone will walk through a few setup items that might take a few minutes to complete. When it's done, you can sign into your Samsung account if you have one. You'll only need to sign in if you want to use some of the Samsung features and services, like Samsung Pay for mobile payments, Samsung Cloud for data backups, or Samsung's Bixby voice assistant. You can also do this later if you're not sure right now. Tap Next to continue. You will now be presented with some important information on things to avoid when handling your phone. Make sure you read these carefully. Tap Done when you're finished. You should now be ready to enjoy your new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. 
but hold on, there are a few cool features that you should know about. The first is multitasking, which allows you to use multiple apps at once. The new camera on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G has three lenses, so you can capture pictures up close or far away. You can also use the folding screen to make self-portraits even better. When folded, the extra screen in front lets you see what you are shooting, and when half-folded, you can set it on something to take self-portraits easier. It also has 5G, which means your downloads and streaming speeds will be rapid. These are just a few of the great features, but there are so many more to explore. And there you go! Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.